hi, so I'm Vivian Hamilton and I'm really happy to be here again on Winning Wednesday with Vivian Live Transformed. I'm here every Wednesday at 6.30 live, so please do come along and join me. So tonight I'm going to be talking about my sugar story. So um, what I'm hoping is that you will find this useful information. Um, your journey with food will be completely different to mine, of course. But we all have our journeys, we all have our hangouts, we all have our highlights. So I wanted to share with you one journey that I had which was really quite serious and how I overcame that. And I'm going to be using some notes to discuss it, so please bear with me if I'm looking down. Um, but I just want to make sure that I do give you all the information and I stay on track and it's all coherent and everything. So really what I'm going to be talking about is something that happened 27 years ago following a night out uh, when I woke up and I literally fell over when I got out of bed. Honestly, I completely fell over. I could not stand up without holding onto a wall. The only way I could get around was crawling on the floor. So I wanted to share my experience and the journey with you. And whilst you may not have extreme symptoms in any way like I did, you may find that some things will resonate with you, uh, maybe to a, a lesser degree, but hopefully what I'm going to share will help you on your health journey. So, if you like what I'm sharing, then please, um, you know, do let others know, others know about it. Do give me the thumbs up or a heart. Um, show that you actually like the post, like what I'm talking about. And um, if you think that other people will find it useful, then please share this live video with them. And I'd love to know where you're listening in from, so please comment in the comments below and also let me know um, if you're listening live or on replay, that would be fantastic, thank you. So I know from my own experience that small changes can make a big difference to the way you look and you feel and what I want is that from this that I can help other people to improve their lives just as mine has been with easy to implement ideas and with things that over time will actually give amazing results. So that's my dream, my wish. So, um, back to the story. So just about 27 years ago, I was working for a large American company. I had a job that was very active, so I wasn't sitting around sort of um, doing nothing, <laughs> um, but I was very active in my job. I was a size 12, so I've never really been very skinny, but I've never really been very fat or overweight until unfortunately the menopause, but that's another story entirely. Um, but throughout my adult life, I've basically been a 12, uh, pretty much consistently, other than, you know, just little blips here and there where I've maybe been slightly larger or even slightly smaller, have been down to a 10, but you know, basically a size 12. So a good healthy weight, not skinny, not overweight, just slim. And I was doing lots of cycling too. So I did have a relatively healthy diet as well. Uh, so I'd have things like fruit and yogurt for breakfast, I'd have a sandwich and fruit for lunch, and then I'd have a typical, what we call an English meal, for my evening meal. So it'd be meat, two veg, and either potatoes or rice or um, pasta, something like that. And I'd have a few drinks here and there. Um, not every night, but I did like to go out and socialize, have a few drinks, obviously 27, uh, that's what you like to do. So, on the face of it, I was nothing out of the ordinary. Um, a 27 year old with average weight, an average life, average activity. Um, but what I didn't realise is that the, my health was actually gradually deteriorating. And sometimes when you're starting to feel not 100%, you don't actually realise straight away because it is a gradual thing. It's a little bit like when you make improvements in your life, you don't necessarily see the improvements straight away. It's only over time as things compound that you notice it. So I've gradually been feeling worse and worse over a period of actually about two years. Um, but it wasn't particularly evident to me, I didn't really realise how I felt. So that's my little intro. Um, I just want to say that if you are interested in getting healthier and that a healthier balance to your diet is important, then I'd love you to take advantage of my freebie that I've created for you because it will give you tips on how to stay on track. Um, so just go and download it at www.lifetransform.co.uk forward slash crush your cravings. So you can get that free there. That um, is my gift 
to you today for, for listening. Hi Angie, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Can I give you a wave? I don't think I can on here, but anyway, I'll just give you a wave like that. <laughs> um, so, back to my story. So I had an ordinary life, average health, average weight, average, average activity. But one thing that I had started to notice was that I was starting to get an adverse reaction when I drank alcohol. And I actually thought that I might be allergic to alcohol. Can you imagine that? <laughs> that tragedy that that would be. Um, so what would happen was that I'd have a drink and I wouldn't actually get merry. I'd just go straight to the hangover bit. So I'd like the drink, but then I'd just start feeling like hungover, rough, you know, headachey. Um, yeah, just not great afterwards. So I did actually think that I might be allergic to alcohol. So that's the one thing that I've noticed that changed in my diet. So one night I went out and I was celebrating a friend's birthday and I was drinking diamond white. So, um, hi Margaret, nice to see you too. Um, so yeah, I was drinking diamond white. If you know anything about diamond white, it is a very strong cider and it does have an alcohol volume of seven and a half percent. So it is very high. And I had maybe three or four bottles, I don't know. Um, but I was drinking that, so it wasn't great, probably. Um, and as usual, I was not merry. I was just feeling pretty hungover by the end of the evening. So I got home, I went to bed, I woke up the next day, and literally, as I tried to get out of bed, I could not stand up. I literally fell to the floor. Um, and I just had to hold onto a wall if I wanted to stand up. It was uh, really, really quite frightening. Hi, Michelle, thanks for coming on and listening. Um, so, yeah, I was quite scared. I, you know, as the day unfolded, I, I found I had absolutely no energy. I was sweating, um, I had a sallow complexion, I felt very dizzy, and the only remedy to get rid of the dizziness and to get me feeling a little bit better again was to actually eat things like toast, and I'd feel better for a little bit and then I'd want some more toast or like chips, um, rice, bread, bread, that sort of thing. So basically I was feeling like I needed to pick me up. So every time I did eat something I did feel better but after a short while I'd just be craving more food. Um, so it was a vicious cycle really that was happening. So I couldn't get to work uh, because I just was too rough to go to work. I still couldn't actually get around properly. And, um, you know, just even walking upstairs or just walking along the road, I would just be exhausted. So, because I did have an active job, there was no way I could have gone back to work. So I went to the doctors and the first thing that they thought was that it was something to do with diabetes. So they gave me some tests for sugar and um, for diabetes. And basically that came back all clear. They did some other blood tests and everything seemed to be okay. It was a bit of a mystery, actually. So eventually the doctor said, I'm going to refer you to a, a nutritionist. So I went along and saw the nutritionist and um, yeah, I sort of had a chat to her and she asked me about my diet and what would be a typical day's food. So as I explained to you in the beginning, I was eating things like yogurt and fruit for breakfast, a sandwich for lunch with fruit, and then a typical English meal in the evening, two veg, meat, and some carbohydrate, maybe potato or rice or pasta. Uh, so pretty ordinary. Um, I thought I was eating relatively healthily, and it turns out that actually what I was eating was just fueling some sugar spikes and crashes. So that's why I started getting all sweaty and clammy and feeling exhausted. And even like, you know, sometime after this episode with the diamond white, I still just felt really drained, fatigued. My skin was gray. Um, I was just unable to concentrate and um, just feeling just exhausted the whole time. So um, basically uh, they set about putting in place a plan for me. So um, I would just like to say, you know, if you do have um, a problem with carbohydrates and sugars yourself, so if, you, if you find that, you know, you do need a little fix of a carbohydrate, so some bread, some toast with jam on, um, toast with marmalade, um, if you, well, any sandwich really, if you like to have fruit, fruit um, in moderation is okay, but actually eating lots of fruit all in one go is actually 
it does cause sugar spikes. So I have actually created this little freebie. It is really about helping you to curb cravings and to take control of your diet. So if you're interested in that, please go along and download it. It's free. I've completely um, created it for you and I'd love you to have it because it is free and it can help you to bring things under control. So as I mentioned, that's at lifetransform.co.uk crush your cravings. Um, so please go and, and do that. And also, if you've got any comments about um, experiences that you've had or how you're feeling, um, something that might be beneficial for other people to know about, then please pop it in the comments because it's great for us all to actually learn from each other. Um, <clears throat> so, so what next? So the dietitian said that um, basically when I was having like the yogurt and fruit for breakfast because there was nothing else in my stomach then what would happen was that it would just send a sugar spike to my blood and that's why I would feel great for a little while and then my body was then producing too much insulin and so it was using up all the sugar getting that under control but because I was producing too much insulin I was then having a crash and getting really low and that's when I was having like all the sweats the dizziness uh, feeling fatigued. Oh, one thing I haven't mentioned is that I was getting really uh, grumpy. I was quite agitated and stroppy and that's another sign of um, a low sugar. So um, because I'd have that crash, then my body would crave the sugar again to bring it up and then I'd eat the sugar, the spike would happen and then of course I'd eat, you know, have, having it, the carbohydrate, having had the sugar spike, my body produced too much insulin again and it came crashing down again. So it's a vicious cycle. So the dietitian said, I didn't need medication. I could control all of this by diet. So she set me on a diet, which was to have six small meals a day. So the same amount of food that I've normally had, but in six small meals, so that I wasn't having a long period without food, which also helps to keep a constant level of sugar. Um, if I was to eat carbohydrates, they should be complex carbohydrates. So what I mean by that is anything that is not refined. So no white flour, no white uh, rice, no white pasta, um, potatoes were okay but with the skin on. So in terms of what I could eat, it was potatoes with the skin on, um, wholemeal bread, um, things like oats, uh, granola is okay as long as it's low sugar, um, and then wholemeal rice. So anything that was unrefined, um, actually I found that it's easier in a lot of cases just to, mostly to cut that out, but you do need some carbohydrate for energy, um, but if you're going to have carbohydrate then make sure it is um, wholemeal, unrefined. So, so that was the first thing, unrefined um, uh, carbohydrates or complex carbohydrates. Um, fruit wise, just stick to berries which are low glycemic. No alcohol, I had no alcohol for a year. And so basically I started having these six small meals a day, um, having things like porridge for breakfast, um, something that was uh, protein based at lunchtime, like chicken and some salad or something like that. And then an evening meal, which was avoiding carbohydrates as well. And no, as I say, no alcohol. And um, all this helps you to keep everything nice and stable. So the protein, when you have protein in a meal, that makes you feel more full and stops you craving things like carbohydrates anyway because your body is being nourished with what it needs. So I was finding that I was just getting better body balance anyway by doing that. And I was not having any spikes in my sugar. So literally, within about a week, I actually started to feel better than I'd felt in 10 years. It was completely amazing how different I could feel just by making those few small changes to my diet. So I didn't, there was no calorie counting in this. It wasn't a weight loss program, but I actually did lose weight because by the very nature of the fact that a lot of um, refined carbohydrates come with fats and um, are often like biscuits, cakes, all those things I didn't have. Um, and I just st stuck to a lot of savoury food, so um, I was having very, very uh, little sweet food whatsoever. So I did lose weight, but it wasn't about um, counting calories, and it wasn't about weight loss, it was about correcting my health. 
and honestly yeah I did feel better than I'd felt in two years within the space of a week it was amazing so my skin returned to its normal color I felt re-energized as I say I, I lost weight I stopped sweating I stopped feeling dizzy I felt like I could do normal things. I could walk down the street with energy and not feel tired. I could go and do my job and be physical and not feel tired. It was amazing that such a few small changes can make such a big difference. So I've really now learned to eat more protein than carbohydrates. So have a protein at each meal, keeps you feeling full and um, with a, an array of fruits and vegetables. That stops you then craving anything you don't need in terms of sugary things, fuel things that give you a lift but actually don't nourish your body in the same way that protein and vitamins and minerals do. So uh, generally I've got a much better, um, much healthier balance um, and I know that um, cake and alcohol can cause it to be set off again. I do occasionally um, <laughs> overdose on these things and I pay for it. I mean it's nowhere near like it was but if I have quite a lot to drink, um, yes, I'll have a nice evening, but the next day, and I'm not kidding, it's usually for about 48 hours, I feel really quite rough. I can't get myself back again. It takes quite a while for my body to readjust. So I know that if I'm gonna do those things, that I will suffer, but I know how to correct it as well. So um, yeah, just amazing to actually have that. And, and there are a couple of things that I know are worse than others, like it's Chardonnay grapes in white wine, it really doesn't agree with me. So, um, as I mentioned, uh, what I'm all about is helping people to become their best, to feel their best, to look their best. So, if you do want some more information on this to help you, then please go along and download my freebie at lifetransform.co.uk forward slash crush your cravings and start transforming your life today. I love going live and sharing my tips and experience with you. I hope that you found this useful and interesting. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up like or a heart or um, comment on the post as well or share it with other people that you think might find this interesting and useful. And also if you would, please like my page, that would be amazing, I'd really appreciate that, but also what that means is that you'll get notified next time that I do a live, and hopefully that would be of interest to you again. So thank you so much for spending time with me tonight. Um, I am going to be here every week at 6.30 on Winning Wednesday, uh, Vivian Live Transformed it is Winning Wednesday, Vivian Live Transformed at 6.30. Um, yeah, so come along and watch next week, and uh, all I've got to say now is have a wonderful evening and thank you for spending the time with me. Take care then. Bye.